Hi, you must be Gloria. I'm Bernard. Pleased to meet you. Come on through. Well, we haven't actually got a garden at the moment, but if you'd like to come this way, I'll show you a little surprise, and you can also meet Glenn. Okay, come on through. Okay, well, we're currently in the process of uh, decorating our flat. Um, we want to do each room one by one, but this is where we started. As you can see, we brought the outside in, and this is our indoor garden. Um, I expect you'd like to meet Glenn, so if you hold on a second, I'll just get in for you. I'm Glenn, pleased to meet you. Welcome to Brick Lane. Would you like a drink or something? Uh, a glass of wine or beer? Wine? Wines? Okay, well, I'll have a seat and I'll be out. Okay. Cheers. No Cheers. Cheers. Well, Glenn and I have lived here together in Brick Lane for about eight years. And we've been going out together for ten years. Nine years in August, isn't it? Yeah, yeah nine years. Yeah. And um, what we've decided to do for you is to put a video together of our holiday clips because we've taken a camcorder away. And uh, we've got four holiday destinations for you. Because mm -hmm. you know you like travel, that's what you're interested in. So it begins with um, America in 1993, Turkey in 1994, and then we went back to America in 1995 to a slightly different part, mm -hmm. and then to Thailand last year in 1997. Yes. So we've got that on view, you know, the top of the line. And uh, it's taken a lot of time and trouble to put all these clips together, so we hope you appreciate it. I'm sure you will. And, um, well, happy viewing. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Okay. What's this? I'm going to get out of here and pull it down. Isn't that weird? Um, I was told my two uh, producer and 
on the escalators which weren't actually working. I was struggling away down the escalators and about halfway down I suddenly felt the mood and I thought, oh that's good, so I'm just about to take me down the rest of the way. And then going backwards. <laughs> going backwards. So I paddled, paddled down to the bottom of the escalators. The suitcases tumbled behind me. And I whacked the emergency bag because I thought, well, I can't be bothered to switch on the right way when I'm going to switch on the left. <laughs> You've tuned into God's life. God. You've tuned into God's life. Early last week, someone just had to have a turkey, fell out a window on the staircase. That's why I've been going to hotels around Turkey. I'm looking for safety. But I'm not for safety of them. There's no going to be a But from the staircase, it's the Poor John Smith, a museum of old, died when he slipped on the stairs and fell all the way down there. Anyway, now it's going to go on about something nice. Come with me and I'll show you a passport that looks like a penis. We're all getting a little tall. very new one. The ramp continues, but since from the other layers of joy, both walls and pieces of stones began to fall down and endangered further for, because of further digging, to get the beginning of the ramp, they stopped it and they added this wall here, which was once part of the wall of Troy Fort, which is not exactly known. which is in Gunville, um, north of San Francisco, by about an hour and a half in the car. And it was really funny last night because um, when we first arrived, um, we were in our bedroom and um, just cuddling. And um, we had a, a big knock on the door. <laughs> and um, it was the guy next door um, thinking that our bathroom was his bathroom. 
so we let him in because we thought that um, we thought well perhaps there was a misunderstanding and perhaps we were sharing a lot of them. And um, to cut a long story short, it was her whopper. <laughs> it was a, um, a guy with really long hair, long grey hair, and a big totem pole. And um, we had to, um, well, we let him finish off his show, but then we kind of went with the guy downstairs and the guy downstairs said, <laughs> said uh, perhaps you could, perhaps you could have work with him. I thought, well, it's a bit off, it's not. So we, had, so we spoke to him, and he was all right. Well, we're in your knees, found. There is a rumor that um, everything in America is huge, and uh, we just want it to be true. If you look behind him, there's the most massive, massive, enormous. Heads, 
all these colored beads and they've got terrible teeth and they, they tell you things like, you have money and we have no money. You buy, you buy one from Louis Tribe, Louis Tribe, Dene Tribe, this tribe, that tribe, but not from Karen, oh. And then they put on Oscar winning performance of being hurt when you don't buy anything. So it's really, really annoying. And um, one thing that... Hold on. Can we follow it? Yeah. Okay. Let me just go and see who that is. Um, we'll carry on recording in a sec. Hello? Hey! Hey! You lost your money! Oh, you no. Your money. You like bracelet! Oh no, bracelet. oh no, it's a carrot, 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 it's a you have an edge, no, 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 how much is this? Ten baht. I, I give you one baht. I give you one baht. No, one baht. One baht. Ten baht. Ten baht. I give you two baht. Look, look, look. Oh, no. Larry, Larry. No. Mia. What's that? What's that one? Should you be? It's it's Larry. Ten twenty baht. I give you one baht for the lot. No. I give you one baht. Oh. All right, then. Okay, all right. I'll give you, I'll give, I'll give you five back for the lot. Five back for the lot. Would you like my metal hat? Uh, what hat is that? Five hundred back. Five hundred back. You have no money. I have no money. You have no money. You have no money.
and Bernard and uh, we're starting off in Kuala Lumpur which is the capital of Malaysia which is in the east and we're starting off in Merdeka Square and uh, here is the site of the biggest flagpole in the whole world and we're going to be seeing various other things while we're in Merdeka Square including the railway station and a market and we'll give you some more commentary as we find some more places to have a look at on our little journey. Hi, I'm Glenn. I'm standing in Madaka Square, which is in Kuala Lumpur. Behind me, this is Madaka Square. Madaka basically means freedom. Freedom, or independence, was given to Malaysia in 1957. That's 41 years ago. In the corner over there is the Royal Selenga Club. It used to be sort of like a colonial thing. It used to be called the Spotted Dog. Some little doggy was tied up outside, which was black and white. Then you've got the St. Mary's Church at the other end. Don't worry about that. Anyway, this used to be a cricket ground and also a Malay padding ground. Don't ask me what a padding ground is, but they padded there. In the corner there's a video screen, a giant video screen, where on Saturday evenings, Malay people come and watch advertisements and then religious Islamic messages. Madaka Square is the Sultan Abdul Samad buildings. A fine example of early Moorish style architecture. Look very carefully and you can see twin towers of the Petronas building, the tallest building in the world, standing at 421 meters, I think. It's very welcoming. Um, if you look over to the gate, um, it's open about a half an inch. So you can just about squeeze your body through. Um, that's if you don't get your eyes stabbed out by the spike on the top of the gate. <laughs> um, as I said, this is the National Mosque, and uh, it's not quite finished actually. And um, being a centre of uh, religious activity, um, the builders um, who are yet to complete the uh, building are um, taking their job very, very seriously and um, obviously anxious to get the job finished, as you can see on the steps. Lemon squash.
Come on. Come on. There it is. <laughs> There was a noise um, which we thought was uh, calling to prayer, but it turned out to be a drill. <laughs> so I think we might give it a bit of a miss, a bit of a white bar. <laughs> Not only has uh, Kuala Lumpur got the biggest building in the world, it's also got the biggest bed in any hotel room ever anywhere in the world. Look at this, it's huge. You can lie across it big place, don't you? I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to change the view now. Right side of view. Pin ball should be the final. This one. Well, as you can see, that's the tallest, uh, that's Manor Tower. The fiddly one. This is not a shovel up as well. Come on. <laughs> Don't get caught. Come on. And then... <laughs> and then there are some buildings. And then there's the Twin Tower. That's the Patronus building. That is the tallest building in the world. And that's nicely lit up at night, which you'll see later on. Now we're going to go for something to eat in this restaurant. There. This is what you can see from our room, only this time we're a little bit closer. Okay. That's where we're staying. And this is the view that... How about this? What do you think, Bob? It's absolutely amazing. This is the um, Kuala Lumpur Tower. And I've um, never seen such a spectacular view. I never realised that um, KL was set in such a wonderful kind of valley, really. There's hills and roads and buildings for miles and miles around. It's huge. It really is. And um, we've picked the perfect time of day as well. It's um, about 10 to 7. And um, the sun's just going down. In fact, we should be at sunset, just as we can see it. Getting very nice. Okay, James here. We're going to point out lots of little interesting things. Who's helping you play? Probably like me. Again. Because we have this thing like mosque and do you recognize a building in Valley of the Way? Is there a way? Yes. Is there anything else? This is what you see when you look right over. <coughs> I'm currently enjoying the first bar. 
have six courses. <laughs> six courses. But the but, but, but motor world. But the um, um, helicopter just about to go past. Oh, um, the helicopter is well gone past. It's a different thing about. But we've got to go there. We've just taken this into our main courses. And um, it's just an amazing oh, presentation of that. It's like a sculpture. It's like art. That's my love for that. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's like making it. Best meal that we've ever had on our lives with what we're It was really lovely. Perfect. We had a uh, sixth course meal and then we had a nice game afterwards which was nice and then uh, an extra bottle of red wine. <laughs> we're gonna do more. We're gonna, we're gonna go home. We're gonna miss kiddos. So good. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be doodly. I'm gonna be doodly. We just found Glenn's mum. <laughs> just found Glenn's mum, and it lasted about one second. Look at the view. This is another view. This is the view. What about? Where are these cabs then? The most sexy one in the world. There's some workout poses. Okay, where are we going? Well, we have just picked up our flying car, which is a, which is a what? A proton roarer, proton roarer, and a monsoon's just started. Okay, Dad. Dad, what do you think of this? And it's a, an automatic, it's got a cruise control, power assist steering, it's really lovely. And it's just ticking it down as if they go, and it's going to get worse. Okay, so it's going to need to look the map. Along the highway 5, on our way to... What are you looking for, darling? Cockroaches. Why? Because the first room that we uh, checked into was actually infested with cockroaches. Two that we found were about that big. There was six. We found six, killed six. <laughs> and then thought we'd better ring the uh, reception, so we did so. And we moved to another room. And um, I spotted two straight away. <laughs> so we're now in the third room. This is the City Bay View, Malacca. Do not stay at City Bay View anywhere in the world. <laughs> um, we've had an absolute um, scrutinisation of this room. And I think, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed, I think this room is okay. And I just pulled the, this is where we saw them first, behind the sofa. Um, and I just pulled the sofa out and uh, gone <laughs> and haven't seen anything scuffling away. <laughs> so we really keep my fingers crossed.
Oh, <laughs> oh,